In our last video, we researched and found 10 unsaturated niches for mugs. Well, today let's actually go through the process of designing a bestseller for one of these unsaturated niches. So here was our list of mug niches and the ones highlighted are some of the ones that we have potential of making sales in. And if you wanna know how we got here, I highly recommend watching the video right before this one. But today, one that seems fun that I would have never thought to design for is otter mug. So first, before I ever do any designing, I'm actually going to research this niche to see what sells to see what type of things I should be creating to appeal to this niche. So coming into Etsy, I just typed in otter mug into the search bar. And now I'm going to see what other people are listing in this niche. And the first thing I want to be checking overall is, is this niche even selling? Because it might have searches, it might have low competition, but if this niche just isn't buying, then probably one I'm still going to ignore. But we've got quite a bit with monthly sales, which is a good sign that you can also be making sales in this niche. So while doing research for this niche, I'm finding that some of the selling designs are usually this dry humor around otters, which is hilarious. And again, I would have never thought of this if I hadn't done my research. So let's create our own funny otter mug. I found this one as well, which I thought was hilarious. Makes a perfect gift for someone who loves otters, but it says, I will crush your skull like a clam on my tummy. So we're gonna go for this a little bit violet type of humor. So I did wanna do some cool text effects for this design. So I am going to be using Kittle. We are going to start a brand new project. And what I do like using about Kittle is if you go to POD presets, you can find all the different sizing of the files that you're gonna need for different print on demand suppliers, specifically usually Printful and Printify, but they have worked by Amazon, Redbubble. So for this one, I'm going to use a Printify mug. And one thing I just forget to always change is right here under the orientation, making sure that I am changing that as well. And then we're going to hit create. So because I can't find any otter type of images that I like on Kittle or Canva, I'm actually going to use Creative Fabrica to help me find some images that I can use for this design. So coming into Creative Fabrica, by the way, if you wanna get a free month of Creative Fabrica, check my links in my bio. But up here, we're just going to look for otter and see what that gives us. I'm also just gonna turn on the filter graphics here though, so that we're just finding files that we can use. And then you can start scrolling through here until you find an image that you like. Some of these ones are cute, the little otter with a top hat. You can make a pattern around the top of a sweatshirt with these three, but there are over 900 different results of different otters that you can use in your design here. So if we come around here, I think these two are really cute. The one that looks like he's in water right now, but I think the one that I'm gonna go with is this little otter cartoon right here. And again, if you have a subscription with Creative Fabrica, you are allowed to download this and then you can just use this in your print on demand files moving forward because commercial usage is allowed. So now coming back to our Kittle, what we're gonna do is we're going to go to our uploads and we're just going to bring in the PNG file of that otter that we got from Creative Fabrica. One thing that is great also about Canva is if you have an image like this and it's not high res enough, luckily this one looks pretty good. You can tell by zooming in, you're not seeing any pixelation, but if it is, you can use the image vectorizer to turn it into a file that you're able to scale up and scale down down. This generally works with more images like this, not photos or super complicated images, but more of these flat PNGs. And if your file also has a background, they have an AI background remover that you can use to just take out the white out of the background. So I am going to scale this upwards. Oh yeah, I don't want him to get all distorted. There we go. And now I'm going to add some text. If you are unsure of what text you actually want to include in this and you need some extra help, Kittle does have a, to come down to tools and go to your AI quote generator, they'll help you come up with text for your design. But mine, because I want it to be a little bit violent and it came to my mind while designing for this, isn't one that I found here. The one that I want to include is, I will utterly destroy you. Because that dry humor combined with this really, really cute otter, I think is hilarious. So I'm actually going to change this around a little bit so that this text actually matches the design. And I'm going to just actually remove the destroy you. And I'm gonna create a new text box. To open a text box, you just have to hit T on your keyboard. And then I'm gonna put destroy you. 
And then I'm gonna put this down here and I'm gonna put the I will utterly up here, but I'm gonna make some more changes to this so that my design looks a little bit more coherent. First, I'm going to make this larger and then I'm also going to add a little bit of a circle to it so that it matches the rotation of our little otter over here. Make this larger and move this down. That looks about a little bit more evenly spaced to me. And then you can change the font here and you there's tons of free ones that you can pick. So I'm just gonna go through until I find one that I like. So here we go. I'm liking this font here. It is called Caprosimo. Interesting name, but I'm gonna go with this one and now I'm gonna change up the font still a little bit to match our design more. And I'm going to go to text color and I want to grab the color of the otter. So I'm gonna hit this eyedropper tool right here in the gray, and I'm going to hover over to the color that I want, and I want it to be this dark brown. I'm gonna do it for both of these. And the second time, I don't have to because now that color shows up under document colors. And now I also want to give our text an outline just so it matches our little dude here a little bit more. So there's two options here. You can either do the border weight. I prefer to actually go through effects just because if you do border weight, it actually eats into the text versus if you do an effect, it layers on top. So I'm going to do this last one here and then I'm going to be changing just the outline width. So I'm setting offset to zero. I'm changing the angle all the way down and then I'm changing the width and then I'm going to change both of the colors to just be this dark color that I would like. And now using outline width, I can change just how big this outline is on our design. And I'm going to try to match the size of our otter. And then I'm going to remember all this and then we're going to apply it to this text down here as well. I should have highlighted both of them to do it all at once, but let's just go through this again. Change offset to zero, angle to zero, increasing our outline width, and then changing both of these colors to the color we would like and then again, just changing this to match. This one was at eight. And I'm gonna change this one to eight as well. And there we go. And if you want to see what this is going to look like actually on a mug, Kittle does have a built-in mock-up creator. So I'm gonna hit the button mock-up up here. And then I'm going to look for the product I'm putting this on. So this is a mug. And then you can select one of these here and then just resize your design to fit on here. So just give it one second to load. There we go. Now I'm going to enlarge this and just move it around on this mug. And now I can see what it's gonna look like. And I'm also free to use this as a mock-up photo for when I'm going to sell this mug. But for now, we actually need to save our design so that we're able to upload it to one of our print and demand suppliers like Printify. So going back to editor, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit download. We are going to make sure we turn on remove background and we're going to save this as a PNG file. Now coming into Printify, under our products list over here, we're gonna search up mug. And then we can pick from one of these and pick who we want to sell this with. So we have some from District Photo, but someone that I actually prefer to ship with is these ones, Spoke Custom Products. They just have better reviews, I find. So I believe this one is also Spoke. I'm gonna click into this one. It is, and I'm gonna hit start designing. So this is the 11 ounce. You can also do the 15 ounce if you want to sell this on a camping mug. They also have that as well. But let's keep moving through this. I'm going to hit start designing. And now I'm going to upload my file of our otter. So now we have our otter in here. If you take a look at the bottom, you can see which direction your design is going to face. And if you want this to show up on both sides of the mug, you can also click on this and we can duplicate it by hitting, where is my duplicate button? Here we go, the two pages button right here. And then we can bring it on this side as well. This is up to you. And then if you wanna see what this is gonna look like on this exact product, I like to take a look at the mockups just to get an idea of the placement of this. So we can see here, and these are more options as well that we can use for our mockups. So I'm not the biggest fan of using supplier mockups, but these are extra ones that you can use. And if you need more mockups, my favorite place to get mug mockups is placeit.net. They've got thousands of different mug mockups, but what is my favorite about these is that you can actually do a video so that you can use in your Etsy or your Shopify listing. And what it does is if you have a video, once you upload your design, it sticks with the mug. So it actually stays with the video and looks realistic. So this is great for any marketing you wanna do 
you or just to use it as your Etsy listing video. Thank you guys. And again, if you have not watched the research video on how we found these unsaturated niches, I highly recommend you go and watch those. And I hope this helped you understand my thought process as to what I'm thinking when I am trying to research and create designs.